Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. I'm going to walk as I talk. Last time, we came to the cafe and met Charlie and got money. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to work tonight, too. That's good. That's good stuff. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the border house. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Oh, I see. That's a cop that's uh, pointing gun a gun at them because they were skateboarding. Well, that uh, sucks. Sucks for them. Dude, but what is it with skaters like? Obsessions with having to skateboard everywhere they're not s supposed to. It's like, it's a thing. I mean, I, I guess I can understand here that, you know, it's banned everywhere, and that's not a good thing, because that's, you know, government interference into our lives. Who wants that? Have you noticed that, like, if there's a place that says no skateboarding, it's like, uh, I don't know. I seem to get a, to have to show, be sharing a lot of opinions. In this series lately, maybe I shouldn't. But I might make people mad. Anyway, uh, we want to look back out the window. Remember, we got some bread, and there's a birdie out here. The only thing I want to do. No, don't close the. Uh, I have to use my eye. I want to feed the birdie. See the birdie? I want to feed the birdie. You eat the bread, but I I, I don't want to eat it. I want to give it to the birdie. I guess we should uh, throw it down there. Go get it, birdie. Go get it, birdie. Look at these. Oh, I guess it popped the balloon. And that uh, caused that uh, Clank? thing to sink. Uh oh, let's. Uh, Bring it back up. Oh, what? What did we get? We met that line that we uh, untied. Well, we got it back because we couldn't just untie it and hold on to it and get it. We had to drop it in there and then make a puzzle out of it. But oh well, we got it. So anyway, let's uh, go back now. And you notice that that rubber ducky kind of floated away. Um, like you'll probably discover this on your own, but I'll just tell you right now. Let's just go get it right now. It is in the canal where the cafe is, so let's go all the way back there. Right, we've got a whole three minutes without a lengthy conversation going on. I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky. Ah, oh, yeah. See, so I guess you would uh, find that. I forgot that you see it here. Ah. Yeah, you wanna go to the cafe? Did you gotta be pointing that gun at them like that? Uh. Looks like a very militarized police force. And let's go in. Ah, there it is, right there. It's a rubber ducky. It looks disturbingly familiar. How the heck did it get all the way over here? It's called a canal, April. Yay, we got the rubber ducky too. Man, we're just uh, rich today in adventure game items. Alright. Let's see. Subway. Eat fresh. So let's do so. Because remember, we wanted to uh, go speak to Cortez, and he told us to go where children's dreams can be realized, something like that. So, uh, anyway. First, uh, before you can actually go, let's. Look at the ticket. It's the address. The gallery is located near the Watertown Bridge. 
All the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. Yeah, there you go. You won't actually be able to get there until you look at the ticket. Ooh, journal. Alright, it turns out that where kids visualize their dreams is an exhibition called Growing Pains at the Roma Gallery. That's down by the Watertown Bridge in West Venice, too far to walk. I have to take the subway. Sometimes her handwriting can be a little bit under hard to understand, like some letters mix up. Oh well. It's an exhibition of work by inner city kids, and I guess the theme is dreams, which, by some strange twist of fate, is what everything is about today. So the Roma Gallery it is. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. Senor Cortez is just a little too creepy for comfort. No kidding. But I'm in desperate need of some answers, so it's bye-bye to choice. Hello, Destiny. Any, any of you all playing Destiny? I haven't played it. I heard it's good. But I don't know. I don't have uh, time for more games right now. Heck, I barely had time to record this, but uh, I got a bunch done today. My finals week, so I figured I had to record. So we're here at the subway. It's a gene scanner. It, um, scans your genes, puts your genetic signature into a database, and allows you through all corresponding gates. Hmm, that's interesting. Perhaps an invasion of privacy. Who knows? So, uh, we can buy a pass. Let's see. According to the instructions, I push a button with a stylized hand, wave my cash card in front of the round thingy, and then stand still for a few seconds. Good. I can stand still. They scanned, and then you go through. I can stand still, too. I did it for two whole minutes in Earthbound. Stylized hand. All right, let's just get it. go ahead and go for the weak pass. I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. Yeah, you're gonna want that. Oh, there's the eye. So let's uh, we have a cash card. Or here we go. It's kind of convenient to that there's no like uh, physical currency. Like if it's all on a cash card. Fifteen dollars subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metro Line subways for exactly one week. I know it happens in issues too. Genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. Yikes. All right. But anyway, we can go on through now, and we're good to go. What's that? There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. It looks like a large iron key. Well, we're an adventure game character. There's a key stuck here, so we want to get it. I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, but with that frayed high voltage cable. So we have two problems. One. I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. <laughs> Alright, so we have two problems. One, it's all the way down there. Two, there's electricity. So here comes this puzzle. Alright, so uh, you want to... Blow up the rubber ducky. There we go. Alright. Uh, add this to that. Then you actually want to put the rubber ducky on there so it doesn't get, since it's, you know, rubber, and things won't get electrified. See, there you go. Bada bing, bada When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. around the key, but I can't catch hold of it unless I find a way to close the clamp while it's down there. Huh. Okay. I think I have this figured out. Yeah, I remember this being complicated. I thought I had it, but then uh, I remember why it's so complicated now. Look at the rubber ducky. There's a band-aid here. Take the band-aid. 
Okay. Now take the rubber ducky, put it on the clamp. Now that it's uh, deflating, it will slowly start releasing the clamp, closing it. And give us the key, okay. Yeah, all I mean, that's the infamously that's famous cool puzzle catch. right there. Because it's just so convoluted. But we did it. We got the freaking key. And let's get into this train. Why is that guy just standing there? What does he want? Obviously not, not to get on the subway, because otherwise he would have done so. Let's see, Noah. Hello. Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Well, she seems fine. We have the subway map, and because we looked at the bridge, we have, uh, let's see. Oh, because you, look, because you looked at the ticket, the Watertown Bridge is now available. Poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. <laughs> um. Something about this, uh. Big sound from such a small box. Something about this music reminds me of Monkey Island. But I believe. This should be the gallery. Hello, sir. Sir! I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. Alright, so I guess they're not too concerned about security here. It's a pointy edged swan. It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. Hmm. It's quite a creepy looking, creepy looking creature there. Let's uh, take a look around, see if we can't find uh, Cortez. Oh, there he is. For the life of me, I can't figure out why Cortez wants to meet me. Come to think of it, why do I want to meet him? It's a good question, because we need to continue with the plot. About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Nita, this painting. Right here. Look. Why? Just look at it. I... it's... a girl. What am I looking for? What do you see? I see art. I see art, art yes. And beyond that, beyond art, Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. It's annoying. It's really annoying. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you, and you're not quite sure why. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? 
Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and delusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? Well, just... yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Good. And I'll do my best to explain everything. Just be patient. Are you my point me? about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here. And your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me, I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, señorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Oh, come on, dude. I said... Goodbye. Sumptuous D-bag. <laughs> but he did seem to have some things to say that made sense. New entry. Still Friday. This is a busy day for Dear Diary. A busy and weird day. Late afternoon. Cortez is, how shall I put this nicely, completely and totally out there. I mean, he's gone on and on about the truth of art, and then it turns out that's not the reason he wants to talk to me. But does he tell me why it's so urgent that we see each other? No, he says that uh, that will have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, right, as if. There's something strange going on, I know that. And it's obvious that it isn't just me. Oh, sorry. It isn't just me losing touch with reality. Why would Cortez be involved if that's the case? So what the hell is happening? And does Cortez actually have some answers? I so... <laughs> Uh, I, I so don't want to hook up. I thought I was going to say if so, but no. I so don't want to hook up with that guy again. He freaks me out big time. But I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking I... Do I have a choice? Do I? Huh, who knows? Let's get out of here. Go back to the subway. Right here. Good stuff. Alright, now we want to just go back to East Venice. Because uh, we have to go to our job now. Because remember, we said we'd work. Uh, if you chose not to do so, then you just go back to the uh, border house.
So let's say go this way. Back to the cafe and end our day. Get to work. Get some money. scrubbed and ready to work, sir. You'll be on the floor tonight, honey. Start taking work. Easy enough. Mini game time. No, I'm just kidding. We don't actually have to do that. <laughs> that just uh, ends this uh, chapter. creature we saw at the museum. <gasps> that was weird. But anyway, chapter two, through the looking glass. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. We have a new journal entry, but uh, we'll save that for next time on Let's Play The Longest Journey. And actually, I, I don't think I know what happens if you just stay at home. I know something else weird happens. I might have to uh, show that off. But uh, we'll see that next time, most likely. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day.